Comic Con is here. <laughs> and when Comic Con is there. It's uptown, it's, it's man. Here, the Javits we're Center. Here, we're in here, Halloween Adventure. Exactly. Which is it's Comic Con all year Comic-Con round. Comic Con all year round. So one of the best parts about this store, it is, it's vast. Yeah, it's so if you have an imagination, this is the place to go. Yeah, the Comic Con people are always creative, so they'll they'll. They won't just buy a costume. They'll buy a costume and make it their own. Right. Take a piece off Superman and Spider-Man and God knows what else and, and make their own costume. Because often they're, they're creative. They're, the cosplay kids are so creative. Right. You know? And so we're in the superhero section right now. And uh, Joker is coming out uh, this week. See, Joker, I'm, I think it's not going to be, well, it's not going to be a normal Joker, obviously. Right. You know, but there's a big deal. We have a Joker section and everything. Because, you look, I mean, here. It's iconic, you know, the Joker. Sure. It's amazing. It's amazing how much publicity they've gotten because they figure someone's going to shoot somebody. God forbid, God forbid, you know. But um, I think it's a lot of hype. You know, I want to see it though. I mean, sure, yeah, of I course. Like yeah. Over there. He's a great actor. Yeah, you know, Walking Venus is amazing. Yeah. So we're seeing a lot of different trends, especially Halloween is just around the corner. Yeah. And so, what are you seeing in, in the superhero well, world? Well, there's the superhero, obviously Spider-Man, and then obviously all the. The end game, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, with Captain uh, Mar- uh, Marvel, yeah. Mar- Marvel yeah. you know, Marvel, anything Marvel. Captain Marvel is doing great. Um, but you're always selling Spider Man and then the Spider Inverse because it was just a magnificent right. cartoon that has legs. Kids come and asking for that. And then you're Bat, you're always Batman and then Superman. The, the classic stuff. I mean, the, the Joker is as classic as a store. Right. You know what I mean? Sure. When, when a, there's certain things that become iconic because they're just, you know it's like Stan Lee created all these incredible right. characters that go on and on and when you make a movie, oh my God, it's just big. When you go, I know my wife goes to um, Dragon Con where they have a big parade, and often you have a trend, you see what's going on down there, and you don't see anything too. You know, like when you're, um, you would see some movie coming out ahead of time and they'd be all dressed up, you know? right? Uh, but. I didn't. See, I asked her this year. She didn't send any sense of that. Most of the classic right. things, things are out. You know? So one also things as you're walking through the store, you got your Disney section, you've got your medieval well, medieval well, time yeah, section. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got so many different parts. So it's really finding that that you know. Well, when you when you have yeah. a store this big, you know, yeah. we have hats, makeup, weapons, all the accessories that go with it, plus creative people. You know, they might take wings from the dragon wings right. and then make it their own to some kind of superhero character. Or spray it. I've seen that. I've seen people take right. those wings and make them their own colors. Right. I said, I know what that is, <laughs> and they made it their own. <laughs> because rather than, because a lot right. of them they're so talented, they'll right. mold their stuff, they'll sure. cast it. But why do that if something that existed? But they, you know, kind of piece off and make it. I, I mean, that's my background. You know, sure. I mean, I've, the, you know, I need a claw. I'll see something looks like a claw and cut it apart. You know, and make it right. something else. And that's why I think the cosplayers are just so. So oh, it's big. They're, right. They got the um, Gothic Lolitas. Right. I was in Japan. I saw that years ago. Yeah. Oh my God, these kids are geniuses in what they do, and they're they're obsessed with it. They live that. That's their right. lifestyle. You know, right. they they dress like that all the time. Can you t- when someone comes in the store? Can you like look at them and like that would work for them? Some. Yeah. I mean, people are, in New York. You have a lot of people opinionated. Yeah. New Yorkers are opinionated. Right. Do you know that? No, just a little so bit. So they say, bit. do you need any help? Right. They say no. <laughs> all right. And then I'll see them one of them. I say, what are you right. trying to do? Well, I know where that is. I know where a piece of that is. Or I right. know when you go to my goth store, they got that. And then they'll start to realize I understand what they're doing. I say, right. what are you trying to, trying to make this? Well, I don't have this, but I do have that. Right. And I put it together. Well, actually, and uh, most of the, the serious cosplayers have been and are gone. They sure. have to show today. And also, like, when, when you go to Comic-Con, you said, like, people make it their own. Like, they're very intricate. Yeah. And so, like, when you're able to sort of walk around here, you can see, like, you really can take a little piece of something yeah, yeah, and make it your own. Yeah. Um, what is something that that you've seen as people are going through that, that amazes them? They amaze the size of the store. <laughs> that's what amazes them. And what amazes them is how much stuff they have here. I mean, uh, they, they, they don't see this kind of... You have other Halloween stores here in competition, but we're pretty good at organizing it. We're very organized, and we have a vast amount of stuff. I mean, really, it's just about everything. we got just about everything. And the, the, it, it's hard, you know, people aren't creative. Right. They need guidance. They're going to come in and buy a Superman costume, you know, sure. a Batman costume. The we'll cosplay, they normally don't talk a lot because they know what they want. They're coming in searching. They're going down mm-hmm. to Canal Street and picking up things down there. They're going to the plastic. They're going to the art supplies. Here they're coming in. They might need a glove or they might Because I've asked them many times. Right. And you can see they, they want to sort of back away. They're very creative. Some of them are geeks, so they don't right. have much personality. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're like, you right. know, a little geek. I was right. a geek as a kid, so I understand right. that. And, uh, you know, and they're artists, so 
they don't want to be influenced. They right. just they know what they want and know what they don't want. And sometimes if once they know that I'm on their side or that I understand right. what they're doing, they go, oh, I know what you're doing. Oh, that's a good idea. We got this and all that. And that's the way it works. Uh, as far as I go online to see a lot of the cosplayers, and some of them on Instagram are just geniuses right. at what they do. They, right. Oh, my God, they're just so creative. Right. And I know what it takes to do it. I look at it. I say, look at the molds. Right. Look at all that makeup and how creative it is. And they're... And it's uh, uh, because of Instagram, the world's changed change, like, because right. at one time they didn't have that platform. It would yeah. be underground. Right. And that's why Comic-Con is so big because right. it's just so many photos and so right. much stuff that gets out there. And instant gratification with right. YouTube and there's they have their own YouTube sites. But the industry's changed yeah. that way. So things go viral and that's sure. not a disease. That's, <laughs> that's, sure. that's videos. That's, right. you know, and, uh, and it spreads really quick. Right. And they get to be known. They be, they, be, these kids get to be known. They right. know who they are. You know? One of the great things is, is, you know, as I was walking around, is that you have so many different like versions of like costumes. Like you have you know, the the Batman from the '60s, and you yeah, have like yeah, the yeah. modern day oh, well, Dark Knight. You have classic Batman. Yeah. You have classic right. Spider Man. Right. Uh, you have classic Superman. I know one year, uh, Zack Snyder made a Superman, and he right. had weird colored. Right. outfit and I yeah. said that's a loser and it was I think right. I still have those brown purple boots I put them in pirates I said that's you know funny. Batman right. I mean Superman wears red right. not this whatever that color right. was and I told him I said don't mess with Superman right. you know man they do that you see that I think Stan Lee probably got upset about that he said what are you doing <laughs> you know he said it's but it's, you know things are more pink more right. girl oriented right but you know, look at Captain Marvel. Yeah, I mean, you have a lot of female. Purpose, yeah. She's a typical superhero. Right. Or, you know, or, or the, what's her name from a Joker, uh, Harlequin. Right. I mean, they're. A lot more female inspired. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're yeah. kick ass right. women characters. So right. That means something, you know what I mean? It's like Maleficent. Right. It's not a superhero, but she's quite a character. Right. You know what I mean? Uh, and then, right. and then we see the Incredibles now also. Like you see well, the, the Incredibles yeah, are a good example. Right. I mean, they, 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 there's costumes from that. The, the girls are... There's a there's a superhero shop in Brooklyn. Do you know that? No, no. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was there the other day. I looked yeah. out the window. I didn't go in it. It's on Fifth Avenue, oh, about right. 7th Street. Oh, interesting. And it's a super, superhero store. Just so And it, it looks like what it is, it's all the stuff you need to build, and they'll teach you how to build the superhero. And the whole store has everything in it. You can see pieces of stuff. and things. Wow. So that whole thing, I mean, they're actually a store that can devote themselves right. to the molds and things like right that. For those right. Kids to come in. You sure. know what I mean? The rents aren't right. expensive as New York. Right. So you see that. You know, right. it's, it just becomes an industry. Right. And then a lot of them, that's how they get in the movie industry. They get so creative, and then they get hired by sure. Spielberg types, you right. know, that kind of thing. And one of the things I love also, and just looking around, is like the masks. You've got so many well, interesting ma masks. Well, masks are an interesting yeah. thing. You got yeah. Trick or Treat, which is the big licensure. So yeah. they're going to have obviously it, the big mask yeah. this year. The, you know, Friday the Thirteenth, Freddy Krueger, right. um, the iconic the Batman. Right. You know, the kind of things that are like, oh my God, Darth Vader. Right. I mean, I remember when those masks first came out. Uh, this shirt is thirty years old. Well, when Tim Burton in the movie, nobody had a Batman. Right. Oh my God! That that was everybody wanted to try it on because right. it was never me. All right, sure. Or when Darth Vader came out, ah, oh, it's Darth Vader. Right. I'm going to try it on, and because once you put it on, he said, "Well, what do I wear with it?" Well, put it on a tuxedo. You're Darth Vader. Look <laughs> at your head. You know, you're Darth Vader in a tuxedo. You know, sure, you got the whole right. costume. Right. But that everybody knows that is you're exactly. Darth Vader. Right. You know? And uh, and it, it it just I mean my license plate says Batman T. Right. People want to photograph my license That's plate. That's great. And nothing to do with right, I have nothing right. to do with Batman, sure. but it's just that it's so right. iconic. Right. And people say, "Can I photograph you?" Yeah, you can photograph that's my great. license plate. Yeah, right. and it's one of the things that when you walk around even like Comic Con, that's these people they want they want to engage with you. They want to. I, I like, went there a couple yeah. years ago. Yeah. And it was just like this. You know, yeah. You know, this is my costume. Great. But uh, I was amazed at some of these people, right. and some of the women are really hot. I mean, right. It's amazing how beautiful <laughs> yeah, they are. Yeah, they are yeah. really beautiful, really and they, yeah. so they can make it right. work. Right. That's why they're on Instagram because they got to follow them because they're. Because they're a model type sure. hot chick, you know, they go, oh, hot chick, that dresses <laughs> up, you know. And we have them come in here, I know a few of them come in here, and they're just wonderful. Right. They're, they're very creative kids, you know. Yeah. And I come in, I go, is that you under that makeup? <laughs> I know, you know, how beautiful you are. Why are you uh, under that horrible uh, makeup, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but they don't care, that's because they're artists, you know. Like yeah. Stuff. So where can people learn more uh, about your store? Halloweenadventure.com, you know, and uh, uh, go with our, our, you know, Facebook. We'll be all over Facebook or on Instagram. And um, just type in Halloween Adventure. That's where you'll find us. <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay.
as you can see, Halloween Adventure is the place to be to bring your imagination to the forefront. So if it's Comic-Con, Halloween, or just to dress up, check out Halloween Adventure in New York City. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.